brother has sickle cell disease and he's been suffering this for a really from birth so from birth we have always had to stand the risk of oh my god he's having crisis or we're always at, at the fear of what will happen hi guys you're all welcome to my channel today if this is your first time of ever tuning in i'm so glad to have you my name is chizoba and i'm a medical student in ukraine and if you already subscribed to my channel thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos you guys you're the best and i don't take you for granted one bit okay so you guys i want to really say take out this opportunity and say a very big thank you to all of you each and every single one of you for all the love and the support you guys have shown me on this channel you guys you've wowed me and my expectations i really want to appreciate you all thank you for constantly and constantly supporting me and supporting my content i appreciate you all okay so in today's video just as the title have already said i'm going to be talking about a really sensitive topic sensitive in the sense i term it sensitive because i feel that it has to do with love and it has to do with family so i feel that when love is involved a lot of people become really very 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 biased and they they don't want to look at facts and they don't want to look at the reality the present reality but they tend to look at uh okay their feelings and their emotions and what they feel at that point so that's why i i think that this topic is really very sensitive okay and then secondly i'm talking about this because uh i feel very upset all right it's really very annoying that in 2018 2019 this you know recent century with all the uh education the modifications and you know the the social media platforms that are going on creating awareness and people are learning every day and every day we still see these things happening right we still see children being born with sickle cell anemia so i sickle cell like we still see children that have sickle cell disease so it's really very annoying and it's at the same time frustrating to me that i feel that there is no enough awareness created on this topic and i feel that sometimes the awareness that are created are not properly passed out to people for it to really understand the you know the gravity or the 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 yeah the gravity of the the magnitude of what they are actually wanting to go into okay so why am i so passionate about this topic one let's put it this way i i was born in a family of five children all right i'm the first okay then the third one in our family uh has sickle cell disease all right so let's first of all define what is sickle cell disease so sickle cell disease is a chronic condition meaning it's a lifetime condition that it's it cannot end its lifetime there is no cure to it although there have been a lot of modifications to bring cure to it but it's a chronic condition a lifetime long disease whereby the patient or an individual's blood red blood cells are abnormal in shape okay the normal human red blood cells is over in shape all right but this individual that has sickle cell disease their red blood cell is secured in shape like this it's like an arc you know this stuff that they used to rake rice to harvest rice that's what their red blood cell looks like okay so this this red blood cell that are secret in shape not only are they secret in shape they have so many abnormalities one the normal human red blood cells have a lifespan of about 120 days but for a patient that has sickle cell disease their red blood cell have a lifespan of about 40 days all right this is one and secondly these red blood cells that are sickle in shape does not have enough surface to carry hemo or oxygen to the rest to the part of the body okay one of the functions of the blood is to carry oxygen from the heart you know they get it from the lungs you know I i'm going to try to not be so medical about this but to explain it so plainly that everyone would understand what i'm talking about all right so when we breathe in air it goes to our lungs right from the lungs we have the uh 
the arteries, the pulmonary arteries and veins that does the egg change. So these blood cells, arteries, they take the blood uh, from the lungs to the heart, right? Then from the heart, this blood goes to the rest of the body, right? So from the rest of the body, the blood goes back again to the heart and then the lungs. So why are they going to the lungs? The blood are going to the lungs to collect oxygen. So these blood cells take oxygen that we've breathed in, uh, we breathed in from our nose to the lungs. So it takes in this oxygen from the lungs and takes it to the remaining part of the body. So the red blood cells, are, this is one of their major function, to take oxygen to the different parts of the body. So this red blood cell of a sickle cell patient is sickled in shape. So the surface tension is not taking enough oxygen. So let's say, for example, that a normal red blood cell will take 100 whatever percentage of oxygen, but this sickle cell uh, blood cell could take maybe 20 or 30 percentage of blood oxygen. All right, so this is one of the different. And then another thing that these red blood cells are uh, have the, another abnormality of this red blood cell is that you know the red blood cells are going through the vessels right the blood vessels so when it gets to a tight junction most of these red blood cell maybe it hooks it's supposed to like move normally right but instead of moving normally it's not moving straight like this is like this is it's get it's, it's getting stalked at these tight junctions of the red blood cell so this getting stuck and another one gets stuck on it and they all compile together it makes the patient feel this very you uh, are serious severe and acute pain which is what we call we term it like oh this patient is having crisis okay so this is what i've explained this is uh the few uh, disadvantages or the abnormalities of people having what people suffer when they have this sickle cell disease okay so this patient is always i don't know at a risk of uh, any disease their immunity is low the red blood cells are very low the blood in the bodies in the person's body is low that's why we call it sickle cell anemia they always have low percentage of red blood cell, low blood. Everything in their body is low. And it's the blood that fight uh, this bacteria or foreign body. So everything about this patient, this patient is at the risk of every kind of disease, any and um, any kind of disease. And not only that, coupled again with the fact that they also have this uh, crisis, which is as a result of the red blood cells uh, clunging up together and their joints. You know the joints and different parts of the body so this results to a lot of crisis for this my patient. brother has sickle cell disease and he's been suffering this for a really from birth so from birth we have always had to stand the risk of oh my god he's having crisis or we are always at, at the fear of what will happen now anything can cause crisis for them weather change stress anything that anything can just make them to have crisis. If the weather is too cold, they will have crisis. If the weather is too hot, they will get dehydrated and they will have crisis. So like, this patient is just risk, 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 risk. So why am I talking about this issue today? Because I want to really, really major in, I want to talk about the cause of this disease, how this disease gets to develop. All right, so every human being is born and we have a genotype. A genotype is the kind of blood that we have, the type of our blood, right? We have the AA, the ARS, and the SS, all right? If our patient, or if, or if, if two couples, one has AS and another one has AS, it means that they stand 50% risk of having a child born with SS, right? Because the mother who has AS and the father has AS, right? Maybe if the father donates the A part of the A part of his blood and the mother donates the S part of his blood, the child will have AS, right? But in the case where the mother donates the X part of her blood and the father donates the S part of her genotype, then the child is going to be SS. And this is what we call sickle cell anemia. So it goes on to 
I wanted to talk about it this way because I see people are getting married. If you are dating someone, you're caught in someone, and you see that this person is AS, there is no reason you being an AS patient or an AS human being individual wants to marry this person with AS. It shouldn't be. Because I've had so many stories where people are like, oh, he's AS, I'm AS, and he didn't tell me, and then we got married, blah, 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 blah. Or I've had stories whereby, oh, he's AS, I'm AS, and he said it's okay that there are so many uh, means that we could use to cure the baby in case we have a child with sickle cell, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so frustrating for me to keep hearing and seeing these stories because it's not nice. If you are AS as a woman, it's your job, it's your responsibility to make sure you don't fall in love with a man that has AS. Take for instance, myself, I have AS. My both parents are AS, AS. Okay, fortunate for them. It's only one of our siblings out of five children that they give birth to. It's only one that has SS. The remaining four either AA or AS. So me, for example, I, I don't want to blame my parents for anything, right? I feel that they were not properly informed. They didn't have knowledge about it during when they got married. So hence why they made the mistake. But in this 21st century, I, I find it difficult or I find it very annoying to see that people are still making the same mistakes, right? People are still getting married, your AS, your AS, you're getting married out of different reasons. They say, oh, they love themselves, or it shouldn't be. As a woman, it's your responsibility to make sure that you don't fall in love with a man with AS, okay? Like I say, my grandma said, she said, it means like, don't make friends, a woman, a lady, don't make friends with a guy that you know that is AS, right? If you're making friends, like for me, one of my criteria of friends with people is, what is your gender type? Like it's, it's like one of the first questions I ask people, what is your gender type? Because I don't want to make the same mistakes that my parents have made. And I don't want to be in the positions whereby I'm even contemplating making that mistake. Do you understand? Because when you, you, you don't know these things and you eventually fall in love with this person and you're like, you're already at the stage where you're deeply in love and you, you can't help it. You're like, oh my God, I, I, we can do it. Oh wow, we can do this. We can, we can get married eventually. Oh, we can try to solve this problem. We, there is no solution to the problem. The solution to the problem is another problem and it's, 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 it's just a problem that I feel should be avoided from the beginning. We shouldn't even get into it in the first place. We should avoid this problem from the beginning and that's it. We will not have these issues because I found that, that okay, I've done some research and see that this, uh, there is treatment for sickle cell disease, but this treatment is bone marrow transplant and this bone marrow donor has to be a sibling, right? They have to check which sibling is very compatible and then they will harvest the sibling's bone marrow and put it into the sickle cell patient uh, bone marrow. And then you, you stand the risk of rejection, stand the risk of infection, of a lot of things, of complications of this disease. So why don't we save ourselves the stress and not get to that stage? What if you give birth to the first child and, wow, this first child is sickle cell? and you're trying again for a second sibling that would give you bone marrow to transplant to this one that is sickle cell. And the second one too is sickle cell. So what, what, what will you do? <laughs> Nothing. So the best thing is don't just make the mistake. Don't fall in love with someone that is AS if you are AS. Men, if you are AS, look for people that are AA. Don't let's stop this cycle of stupidity. That's what I call it. It's just a cycle of stupidity. And we keep bringing children into this world to suffer. Because I know what my brother goes through each time that he has sickle cell crisis. It's painful. It's very, it's so money. The financial involvement of this is a lot. It's money consuming. Okay, and if we're even considering the treatment, if one of my siblings or one of us, we, we are a good donor, but then the money that is involved, 
we're hearing fifty to sixty thousand dollars just you know the poop payment there you're not gonna put in other you know financial involvement so this is a lot of money right so let's save ourselves or the stress and save these children that we're bringing into the world the stress if you are as look for a man or a woman that is aa to get married to if you are ss look for a man or woman that is aa to get married to people that are as and people that are as should stop getting married because and people that are ss and people that are as should also stop getting married so that we can just end this cycle of misery cycle of bringing children into misery into this world so this is what i wanted to share today i i don't know i really don't know i've i've been trying to look for the right way or the best way to deliver this message to everyone without offending anybody or to deliver it with a way that everyone is going to understand it i really hope I did a good job today explaining it and I hope we will all put this into our what I want in a man or what I want in a woman list or one of our first questions on the first date kind of thing to always find out that piece our uh, partners genocide before we go into anything and if the person is AS and your AS you're already in love there's no need you can just look for another person there are over how many billion people, if you break up with one person that you're in love with, that is, is not a sin. It's not bad. You will still find another person that you fall in love with. That's why I said. So I hope I didn't offend anybody by anything I've said in this video. I hope we've all learned from it. And I hope we would, in the nearest future, put an end to this uh, misery of giving birth to kids that are AS, that are SS and keep torturing these children i really really hope we can put an end to this once and for all okay so guys thank you so much for watching and if you're not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button and join my youtube family and uh, do share this video so that other people can learn from it and if there are any other things you want to say any questions you want to ask or anything you want to contribute to everything I've said or if you feel I forgot something or if you feel I didn't say something right please uh, leave leave it in the comment section write it in the comment section below so that we all can also learn from me and I can answer if it's a question uh, that you're asking so I hope you guys learned something and until next time I'll see you in my next video until next time, watch my other videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!